Hi, I'm Pedro Palandrani, Research Analyst at Global X ETFs. It's a pleasure to meet the Mirai Asset Securities Smart Money audience through this video. Today, we will dive into the robotics and AI topic. Robots and artificial intelligence algorithms are becoming smarter and more capable than ever before, leading to widespread opportunities for automated tasks. At the same time, we can supply chains, rising wages, labor shortages, and changing demographics have created greater demand for automation technology across a range of industries. As robot and AI adoption grows, we're likely to see productivity surge the cost of services fall, and the very nature of work drastically change. Stepping back for a second, we've seen that over the last years, probably starting around 2018-2019, with the geopolitical tensions between the United States and China, and followed by the pandemic, companies have started to rethink their supply chain strategies. So, reshoring manufacturing to home countries and diversifying supply chains are now priorities as companies look to maintain greater control and avoid costly interruptions. So, what we're seeing is that companies are increasingly relying on automation solutions for their manufacturing operations. Looking at the chart with the cost of both onshore and offshore labor, we can see that manufacturing labor continues to get more expensive over time, while robotics costs have fallen. In fact, countries like the United States and China are experiencing labor cost increases of over 40% and 500% since 2004, respectively. At the same time, robotic costs have declined over 20% during the same period. This means that despite an estimated cost of $250,000 for a sophisticated industrial robotic arm, a company can potentially reach a break-even point with traditional labor costs in less than two years. Historically, robots have helped drive down the cost in heavily automated processes, such as manufacturing automobiles and personal electronics. Going forward, the smarter AI and more capable robots will help automate services in such sectors as healthcare and education. In education, AI can leverage machine learning to understand students' individual needs, then design and adapt curriculums to meet them. AI can also optimize teachers' time by reducing upfront workloads. For example, Georgia Tech's AI teaching assistant named Jill Watson turned six years old in January 2022, the AI system re responds 24-7 to predictable student questions about the syllabus. As it frees up time for teachers and admins, Gil Watson reduces the cost of education per student. In healthcare, AI can help pharmaceutical companies speed up drug discovery. In fact, on average, it takes 10 years for a new drug to come to market but AI is expected to cut this time in half. AI is also expected to reduce the cost of drug discovery by as much as 70%. Another area is within robotic surgery. These procedures are currently more expensive than traditional surgeries. However, robotic surgery is less invasive and therefore reduces hospitalization time by half, saving approximately a third of total hospital costs. Yes, that's correct. However, technological advancements and broader adoption of artificial intelligence could result in an explosion of productivity. Looking at history, back in 1881, Thomas Edison built electricity generating stations. Yet, by 1900, less than 5% of mechanical drive power in American factories came from electric motors, as the steam power remained entrenched. Even though electricity is held advantages over steam, implementation required factory owners to rethink their factories, 
and workers and engineers to learn how to best leverage this technology. By the 1920s, electricity was finally embraced and productivity in American manufacturing soared in a way never seen before. Overall, it took more than 40 years for this revolutionary technology to disrupt manufacturing. Today, several new technologies ranging from robotics and AI to the Internet of Things are emerging, promising to make factories smarter and more efficient than ever before. However, less than 30% of the world's factories use robots. At the same time, engineers and factory managers need to be trained in these technologies to effectively leverage them and automate processes where it's most valuable. Once this occurs on a broader level, productivity could surge. Yes, e-commerce is another vertical of growth. To meet growing e-commerce demand and accelerate delivery times, warehouses are turning to automation for every aspect of the logistic process, from stowing to picking, packaging, and shipping. Today, only 12% of warehouses in the United States use robotic arms. Similarly, only 9% use automated guided vehicles and autonomous mobile robots. But adoption is rising. Packaging is one of the hardest to automate parts of the logistic process as goods come in infinite shapes and weights. However, patent filings from Amazon suggest that even this phase could soon be completed by robots. Every second an autonomous vehicle drives on the road, it is collecting and processing billions of data points from an array of sensors, cameras, and radar systems. It uses this data to constantly improve the AV network's driving skills, reducing the instances of software disengagement and accidents. We we'll looked at the California DMV data and found that Alphabet's Waymo and GM's Cruise AV cars can drive 31,000 and 28,000 miles respectively before triggering a disengagement event which requires the test driver or operator to manually take control of the vehicle in order to operate it safely. At current learning rates, by 2030, Waymo and Cruise could drive 200,000 to 300,000 miles before triggering a disengagement event. Similarly, Tesla's full self-driving autonomous vehicle technology is involving accident rates at a rate 10 times less than human drivers. So autonomous vehicles are getting better and better, which could lead to further adoption. We expect the industrial robotics market to reach $37 billion in sales by 2030, more than doubling in size from 2020. Today, there are approximately 126 robots for each 10,000 manufacturing employees. That equals to around 1% robotic density. Leading countries such as South, South Korea and Singapore have 9% and 6% robotic density, respectively. Other countries such as the United States and China only have about 2% robotic density. Over the next few years, we would expect these countries to close the gap with South Korea and Singapore.
Thanks for having me today. I hope today's interview helped you get a better understanding of robotics and AI. If you have any questions, you can visit our website, www.globalxctfs.com or our social media. Thank you for watching.